Hey there makers, welcome back to the workbench. I just got done cutting up some belt blanks for a couple belt orders that I have and I thought I would take this time to talk to you about two things that I think if you're making up some belts what you should do with the little small pieces that you get off of the belt after you cut it to size. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. I go ahead and make up these sample pieces. So one, I can show my customer what the finished belt is going to look like. They're about 16 inches long with the folds on them. So roughly around 17 inches of your cut off billet piece. It's great to have these to show your customer, you know, um, die work, stamp work. Here's a floral pattern that I'm working on to see what it looks like before I tool the whole belt. Like I said, the first thing, it's great to show your customers your work. They can kind of see exactly what they're gonna get. Now the second thing with these, you know, basket stamp belts or the stitch belts, when you do this, there's about 12 inches of working area. You should go ahead and take time and see how long it takes you to either tool this 12 inches or stitch this 12 inches. Now, you can take that. If you know it takes you 10 minutes to basket stamp 12 inches and you get a belt order for, let's say a 36 inch belt, you know it's going to take you 30 minutes to stamp that belt. That is very good to help you understand exactly how much time you have in stamping that belt to get that accurate cost of the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Leather where I just talk about little things that pop in my head during the time in the shop. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for future videos and share this. Before you leave, go ahead and check out my other videos that I'll probably post over here or there.